Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you something called font shading. So once you open up Radiant, um, the, the very first thing you should do is uh, box out your map in Calc. So um, because all the uh, font shading you're going to end up doing is going to be made detail and any detail brush can be leaked through. So make sure you box out your map. As you can see, if I filter out details, it's um, it's a cloak behind it, so I'm just going to filter that back in. Anyway, to get started, the very first thing you do is you want to make your brushes triangles. Uh, the size of your triangle will depend on the amount of detail you, you want it to be. Since this part right here is a pretty um, uh, enclosed map, you want to make it kind of small. <clears throat> if your map is a lot larger, you should make it a lot bigger maybe something like this but it's small so I'm gonna keep it small so you wanna take your triangles and you just copy them around up to the ceiling select these result of function group and I'll show you why that's important I just filtered something out here entities copy this I like to do this about five times uh, the purpose of resulting to function group is to select them a lot easier instead of highlighting every single one to select them all that becomes a pain in the ass in the future so just do uh, control alt left click and you can select each one and now we're going to result all five of these as one group so if you ever want to select this whole piece right here just do control alt left click and you'll select all all five rows so I'm just gonna copy this actually no I'm gonna copy two only oh crap delete these and have that as its own function group now comes the fun part actually doing the brush work to uh, get what you want so what you want to do here is vertex hit V on your keyboard for vertexing and just drag however you want it Oops. you could work on the uh, 2d grid but it's not very uh, effective in my opinion now th here's a tricky part um, this corner right here it's gonna look very plain if I keep it a 90 degree corner so I'm gonna have to actually do a lot of spend a lot of work here trying to make it bulge out more than keeping it a 90 degree angle so I'm gonna select these corners Actually, I'll hold off on that. I'll just do these now. Just drag it out. I don't need to move those. Drag these out. Push them in. No, I don't want to push them in. Too much. Let me change my angle, my grid size, I mean. And you want to line them up to the edges. As you can see here, this is the edge point. So you want to line that up to that to get the best result. And save often because GTK Radiant will crash if you do something bad they won't like. So save very often. I learned that the hard way. Okay, that's slightly better. It won't get better than that. I don't think so. So I'm going to keep that as is. And now we want to make this detailed. Make detail. If you do Control D, it'll filter out all the details. So 
So I'm just going to continue working on this wall here. Now, when you're making your map, you should have a basic idea of what each area is going to look like. Otherwise, it's going to be a real pain in the ass to work with and to actually map it. So, my basic idea is I want the top row to um, sort of like curve out a little bit and then have like a little bit of a sky showing on top, which you'll probably see when I finish the map. So, I'm going to drag this out, change the grid size. Now, I want a nice bulge showing right in the middle. So, I'm going to extend this all the way out. Now you gotta take it um, one step at a time. Ugh. Now to make it look a nice even bulge, you have to do the rest. If you keep it like this, it's gonna look really ugly and not so clean. So you gotta make it look nice and natural. Let's drag these out. It's kind of hard to work with when you can't really see what you're doing. So I'm going to take off the um, the lines with. If you press J, you can um, switch between the views of uh, what I don't even know what's called, but basically what I'm doing now. So I'm going to keep it like this and just basically work with that. bit of an eyesore of looking at the lines like that so I'm gonna work with it like this And then I'm going to have this side bulge out more rather than going back in. So I'm going to select these over here. Okay. Say once again. 